Class 12, Week 3, 46A. Good morning, kids. Our class today is going to be about how to write a story. What is the purpose of a story? Is to entertain. We have to take care of the parts of a story, the elements that you need in order that your story can have the result that you want to transmit to the reader, to your teacher, to your friends, or whoever is going to read it. First, to write a story, we need characters who are going to be involved in the story. Can be a person, a magician, a flower, a place, a restaurant, a food, an animal, etc. So you have to select the characters of your story. Who is going to be in the story? The second point, you have to decide the setting of your story. What it means. Where the story takes place. You select where are you going to describe or talk or write about your story. It can be a castle, a beach, a school, a office, an office, a park, a, a Cancun, Querétaro, a France, United States, whatever place you want to establish your characters. Then is the plot. What is going to happen in your story? Okay, all the events that you must include in the writing. So, as you see, we are including one by one in order that they have a sequence. First, I repeated, your characters. Second, the place. Then, the story that your characters are going to develop. Then, the sequence, the sequence sorry, of events. That is, in which order the, your events, your ideas are going to appear in your writing. Then... Another point is the conflict and resolution. Okay, remember that we have seen that in the narrative, the same happens here in the story. The, if there is going to be a conflict or any kind of problem in your story, and the way that this problem is going to be resolved. And then the descriptive details of the characters, their feelings, and the events in which of the characters are going to get involved. So remember, first of all, sometimes it's quite difficult when I have told you, write a story. In the first step, we don't know what to write about. So that's why you need, every, every, any time you are going to write, you need your paper, you need your dictionary, you need uh, to focus in what you want to write about. It is a special situation. It can be a story about a film. It can be the story about a, an experience or whichever you want to write. First, you have to establish your brainstorm, okay? Your vocabulary. Then you select the characters of your story. Then the place in which you are going to set these characters. Then the plot, the situation of what is going to happen in the story. Then the order in your events are going to happen. Then the conflict and resolution of problems and to introduce details, very descriptive details, okay? As well as the feelings. Here we have an example. My 3 a.m. skirt. I heard my watch beeping 3 a.m. I knew it was time. Heard Peter patter footsteps turning into a big, loud stomps getting closer by the second. Sinking into my bed, I saw and heard 
my door creak. Open relieving her shadow, still as a stick. Walking to me, growling with her red eyes, glowing in the dark room. She crept to my face. I feel her breathing on my nose. She started pouring. I whispered to her, Why do you have to scare me like that every morning? She mused at my question. So this is a very small story, but if you observe the writing of the story, you could answer, for example, what was the story about? Who was the character of the story? In what place the story happened? Uh, if there was a conflict and if there was a solution. The feelings of the character and the way that the writing was express the order the sequence of the events okay another important point that you have to check here is the tenses remember that we have talked about the tenses are important in your narrative this uh, writing uh, is made in past simple we have here heard knew was um, what is another so heard um, which another I uh, crept mm -hmm, and started whispered okay all these establish easily the way that you have to write your story why because you selected when it happened it happened in the past it happened at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. So establishing the time, you know exactly in what tense you have to write your story. Now, I'm going to read a story in which you are going to complete with the words that you listen. The words are great, car, Nervous, opened, games, closed, behind, rain, above, parents. Let's start the story. My last birthday was really cool. Mom invited all my friends from my class. There were 12 boys and 8 girls. First, we played in the garden with my sister Jane. Jane is 17. She knows lots of great blank. We had a fantastic time, but then it started to blank. Why don't you come into the house? My mom said. I'm sure you are all very hungry. She was right. We were all very, very hungry. The food was blank. We had hot dogs and drank orange juice. But there was more. We had the best birthday cake in the world. Jimmy! Later, my sister said to me, Now, you can look at your presents. There was a big box with my name on it. It was so excited. When I blank it, I couldn't believe what I saw. In the box, there was a robot. If you press the buttons, my sister said, it'll do great things. We went out into the garden again. Press the green button, my friend said. But I didn't. I pressed the yellow button. The robot 
started to run very fast. It ran through the garden gate and down the street. Come on, come back, I shouted, but it didn't come back. The next morning, when I went to school, I saw the robot. It was lying blank. A bush near the park. The battery was flat. So, in this story, you are going to include the words that I read at the beginning of it. Then, you are going to choose the best name for the story, which will be for you the best. One, that was great fun. Two, the birthday present. Or three, playing with my sister. You choose the best according with the set, with the story, with the feelings about the... Now, for homework, you will write a story of 60 to 80 words. As soon as you finish, in your workbook, page 100. See you in our video class. Bye.